In this video, I will show you how to use BTC Pay internal wallet together with Ledger Nano S. I will show you how to connect your Ledger Nano S to your BTC Pay and also spend from that wallet once you received some funds. So let's begin. It is important to understand that BTC Pay internal wallet does not generate a private key. That means that you have to create it, your own private key externally and then import the public key or XPUB into your store setting derivation scheme in order to connect your BTC Pay to your wallet. There are two ways you can add an XPUB key or derivation scheme into your BTC Pay. You can do it either automatically or manually. If you have a compatible hardware wallet, you can do that automatically without much tinkering or you can of course find a wallet which allows you to export the XPUB key and add it manually. This video focuses on connecting your Ledger Nano S with your BTC Pay, so the process will be automated. BTC Pay internal wallet is full node reliant wallet that can be accessed by clicking onto wallets from the top menu bar. Unlike any SPV wallets, it relies on your full node for validating transactions, which means that it is way more private than any other wallet, even the native Ledger wallet or Trezor wallet, because it is connected to your full node. But before we can use our wallet and spend from it, manage it, we need to connect it to our BTC Pay. And we do that by creating a store and adding the relation scheme, as I already said. So let's go to stores and create our first test store. Click on the create a new store button and give your store a name. My store will be called my test store. So click create and you'll be automatically redirected to general store settings of the, the store you just created. Up here you can customize all sorts of invoicing options, but we need to con connect our wallet to this store. So scroll all the way to the bottom and find derivation scheme. Here you need to click the modify link under actions and you'll be directed to derivation scheme page. The derivation scheme is basically a destination of all of the funds received from your BTC Pay invoices or all of your addresses are derived from. Whoever has access to your XPUB key or derivation scheme cannot steal your funds, they can only observe your balance. Before I show you how to connect the BTC Pay and Ledger S, I need to explain uh, the type of browsers you can use with this type of wallet. So, you can either use Google Chrome or Firefox. It probably also works with some other browsers that support UTF protocol, but I've only tested them with Google Chrome and Firefox. I'm showing you this video on Firefox and in order to use um, U2F on your Firefox you need to enable it in your about config settings. So open a new tab in your Firefox, type in about config, click I accept the risk and type in U2F. Make sure that this security web out U2F is toggled true. So if it is false for you, right click and click toggle to make it true. That's it. If you're on Google Chrome, you do not need to do this. It's automatically enabled in Chrome. Head back to your derivation scheme now. Plug in your previously configured uh, Ledger Nano S wallet into your PC. By previously configured, I mean that you created a seed and that you already have a wallet installed in it. Make sure that you have Bitcoin app installed as well. So enter your PIN code to unlock it. And very importantly, make sure to open the Bitcoin app. If you're setting up a wallet for any other coin in your Ledger Nano S, which is added to your BTC Pay server, you of course need to select this, that coin app. But of course, we're setting this up for Bitcoin, so we'll select the Bitcoin app. So just click, double click on the top buttons here. And once you do that, head on, head on to your BTC Pay and click import from hardware device. Select Ledger Wallet and BTC Pay will now check if your Ledger is plugged in and if it detects it, it will ask you to select your wallet account. If you've 
just started using Ledger, you, you just created a wallet and you have no idea what these are, in 99% of the cases you need to select this account here. However, if by any chance you use account 1234 on your Ledger Live app, you, you can select any of those. But in most cases you will need to select account 0. So select that and now you'll be asked to confirm that you want to export this XPUB key. Confirm it, the XPUB key or der derivation scheme will be automatically set up. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and make sure that it is enabled and click continue. BTC Pay will now show the addresses for this uh, derivation scheme. So if you use an external wallet with your Ledger Nano S, for example, you use a Ledger Live app or you use Electrum, you can double check to make sure that the addresses you see on your Electrum or Ledger Live are the ones shown here. But since we're setting this up all automatically, you can just confirm it. We now connected our Ledger wallet to our BTC Pay store. Now, let me show you how you can spend the funds from your wallet and how actually internal BTC Pay wallet works. Head back to wallets page in the header here, click on it and select the store which you just configured and click manage. Here you can see that uh, BTC Pay web wallet uh, which relies on your full node looks pretty much the same as any other wallet. You have transactions which show historically all of your transactions from this wallet. You can send the funds from it, you can rescan, you can sign partially signed Bitcoin transactions which I will cover in another video. For now, if you earlier used your Ledger wallet to receive money to it, you need to do a wallet rescan so that the balance shown in your BTC Pay is exactly the same as the one on your ledger. If you just created your ledger wallet, never received any funds to it, you can skip this step. But if you have some money in it and you want to make sure that those two wallets are in sync, it is highly recommended that you do a wallet rescan. You can do that by clicking start scan. To see the progress of the scan, you need to refresh this page. Once that is done, let's now see the, how you can manage your uh, wallet and send from it. So let's say that you received uh, money from your customers or uh, from people who donated to you and you are, now you want to send them to another wallet or just want to pay an invoice with a merchant. So head back to send tab here, enter the destination address and the amount. If you wish to send your entire balance from this wallet, you can just click on the link here and it will auto populate here. This wallet also allows you to customize your fees and you can also subtract the fees from the amount. If you're sending your entire balance, make sure that you subtract the fees from the amount. Make sure that your Ledger wallet is of course connected and that you open the Bitcoin app on your Ledger. To send the transaction from your BTC Pay, click sign and select your Ledger wallet device. You'll see here that you now need to sign the transaction on your ledger. So take your ledger wallet and confirm physically that uh, the address and the amount are correct. You will see the transaction overview on your BTC Pay page. Now you can either export this transaction as partially signed Bitcoin transaction or broadcast it to the network. I'll cover PSBT in another video as I already said, so for now just click broadcast it. And that's it, you'll see the notification here showing you that the transaction has been broadcasted successfully and once it gets sufficient amount of confirmation it will stop being grayed out here. And there you have it. I showed you how you can use your hardware wallet together with your full node for ultimate privacy and security without leaking addresses to third-party servers. It is again important to mention that BTC Pay Wallet does not need your private keys. So basically your ledger is just signing a transaction and spitting out that signature for BTC Pay to broadcast it on the network. That means that your private keys are always on your hardware device secured from any malware, phishing and hackers. 
I hope that you found this video useful and that it uh, show you how powerful uh, this full node wallet is. If you have any questions, hop on to our chat, chat.btcpayserver.org, where community members will be glad to help you out if you have any questions or need assistance. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one where I will show you more of the wallet features and how to use it. Bye bye.